All right, we're doing batteries today. Wait, what's that? Hey, it's a Canadian quarter. Ready making money. On this 2015 Essex, we're gonna do all the batteries. These are the house batteries. There's eight six volt batteries. These are still a 12 volt system. So these are wired in series and parallel. So these two batteries are in series. So that's negative, positive, positive, negative, negative, positive. So those branch together. This becomes the negative post and the positive post of this great big battery turning six volts into 12 volts. Amperage stays the same. There's technically one, two, three, four, 12 volt batteries now. And then these four batteries are in parallel. So negative, negative, negative. And then positive, positive, positive. Now, personally, from my point of view, there should just be two 8D group size batteries in here. It removes a lot of battery cables, but nobody asked me. So I had to bust out the truck for this load of batteries. These are gonna be sealed AGM. Basically, that just means we don't have to check the water level on these. They're maintenance free. So the first thing I gotta do is uh, release all the pretty jobs. All the zip ties on the straps holding it down. Look at that. Zip ties just to make the strap look pretty. You know, the first thing I'll ever recommend when doing batteries is take a picture so you know how to put it back together. And the second thing I'll say is I like to undo the, the negative side first. That way, because the entire chassis itself is grounded. So if we were to put a wrench on right there and go to the chassis on accident, we'd be shorting out be a problem on the ground because if you put ground to ground you haven't done anything but all this was was a temperature sensor for the inverter these were the parallel uh, ground from negative 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 and these are going to be the main negatives going to the actual rv fine there's one more right there and it goes straight up to the frame then normally i'll do the series straps that connect the two batteries together so now these batteries are separate i don't have to worry about shorten something like this one to that one accidentally now we just undo the positives and there are the main positives that go to the fuses did i mention that you should make sure you're not plugged in running uh, the engine and if you have solar disable the solar i'm honestly amazed this nylon strap isn't rotted away all right now we're just lifting some heavy metal made difficult by the fact that uh the slide out's in my way okay let's put the new ones in I remember the part in that uh, the positive was that side. All right, batteries are in, straps are still long. Let's make that pretty. Okay, so that's pretty. Now we just hook up the cable starting to the back, middle, and the front. And don't worry, the cables are already in good shape. Let's hook up the grounds now. Okay, look at that. We got batteries.